This is a known fact now that there is a magma reservoir under the Swartzenge area in the Reckoners Peninsula of Iceland, which inflates and deflates as the pooling of the land creates cavities that are filled by this uh, magma. The magma then fills up like a bladder and then empties itself horizontally through seals and through the dike to the ground into a fissure, a crack in the ground, and erupts. We can see when it is coming by our boreholes in the sourcing geothermal power plant. The increase in the gas level shows us where it is coming. And we have also GPS stations around the area. In the Swartzengi, we can see the rise is actually now sharper than the previous eruption after a period of, of course, a slow growth. And you can see the rise in the diagram also shows sharper. The drop, which is like a hook at the end of this line, shows that uh, our GPS data, all of it, was affected by the solar wind, solar storms, which actually causes short circuit in our satellite. So we have to turn them off. But again, all of this shows, especially this Kispatsi Heron, shows sharp rise. This is the uh, map which shows actually the rise in the ground under the source saying how it is. The mechanism and the connections of this uh, shallow source under the sourcing with the deeper source which erupted in the Fagodest well is not clear. Is it independent? Is it contributing slightly to it? But we know that the magma from the, uh, this eruption was similar to what we had in the Fagodest field and was different from the ones erupted in the five or four previous eruptions. At the moment, this is what we see, a huge cone 55 meters to my estimate, is still standing high, holding its way. I think that we will have the same eruption happening the same through the same feature when it happens in July. And K1 will be the last remaining one to erupt still. This is a huge structure and it is a pathway for the magma to rise to the surface.